So a federal judge ordered that Trump's secret, you know, Gestapo-like stormtrooper police aren't able to barred them from targeting journalists like like duh right I mean and it's only temporary but these stormtroopers the these fascist secret police that Trump employed to you know just overwhelmingly just brutalize and repress this this protest movement that's happening in Portland it's only intensified since Trump ordered the troops there there's they're still targeting a uh, press in Portland, this was from last night, a video from Matthew Lewis Rowland, Matthew L. Rowland on Twitter. I'll say Matthew, it's Matthew um, Rowland on Twitter, so let's check it out. Clearly marked as press, you'll see, still getting targeted. No, please! Press, press. Okay, it's after the federal judge ordered this to stop, it's still happening. And again, I mean, it's it's pretty ridiculous that we have to have a federal judge come in and, and order this. But here it is. Judge Michael Simon issued temporary restraining order against the Department of Homeland Security and the U.S. Marshal Service in a case brought by the American Civil Liberties Union. Federal officers must not target journalists or legal observers. Person had press on their shirt, press on their helmet, was literally just holding a phone up. And then we have other crazy stuff going on there, too. They arrest somebody for handing out flowers. I mean, for God's sakes, this is from John the Lefty on Twitter. It's the type of dystopian world we live in right now. <laughs> Look at that, dude. And then that person doing the right thing, trying to help that person, and they're goddamn disgusting. These people are just fucking psychopaths. Taxpayer dollars, how it works. Sick fuck. And again, I mean, it needs to point out this type of activity has uh, this type of brutal, you know, repression and even to obviously a higher scale has been used on the global south, um, you know, from the U.S. empire for, I don't know, a, a long time, let's just say. And then look, they're suspiciously picking up certain ammunitions they shot, like, okay, why... Why are you doing that? A little sketchy if you're having to pick up ammunitions that you shot at protesters for whatever reason. Like that's not creepy, right? Taxpayer dollars, hard at work, utilizing the protesters in Portland and all across the U.S. by different police departments. Yeah, I can't get Medicare for all, UBI, rent mortgage freeze during a pandemic. We got plenty of money to brutalize, kidnap, etc. In the streets of Portland. Sprayed media with pepper balls. I mean, goddamn, dude, it's bad. Robert's Patriot Prayer Affiliate here in Black Block. <laughs> Super pilot fence shaking for demands in the song. Let's hear it. Where did the money go? Protest to end this. Tech Teddy, a little bit. To our 
back to the lady for money. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Look at that. Fuck you, Wheeler projected on the federal courthouse. Ted Wheeler's the mayor of Portland. Okay. Oh, Mons. I mean, this, again, targeting press, journalists, people getting kicked off or kidnapped off the street by these unmarked, unmarked vehicles, these secret police, tear gas being used night after night. Again, that's a little war crime. The city is letting feds know their fencing will get removed because it violates city code. Right-wing agitator with a gun pushed back. It's not surprising. Literal tear gas tornado. Robert Evans. Let's check this out. Unbelievable. Look at that. Look at that. Jesus. I mean, again, just the juxtaposition.